about 10% of the population of children today have ADHD. But uh, in addition to that, we're talking about emotional problems like anxiety and depression. They're becoming rampant. Well, I think one of the biggest concerns has to do with mental health. Children are dealing with more mental health issues today than ever before. And then, as an option, the medication is given to children and parents are becoming more and more worried about the effects of medication. Well, medication is an option, but I think parents are led to believe that it's the only option, and, and it's not. There are other options that are just as effective, maybe even more effective, that exist out there. Our office, New Brain, offers uh, various treatments that help the brain, including neurofeedback, which is our primary treatment option, and it's effective it's as effective as medication and has been shown to be in some cases even more effective because of its longevity. Medication, although it may help in many cases, is also loaded with side effects. So the negative side effects of medication are pretty significant. If you think about it, you have things like weight gain, weight loss, sleep problems that come from medication. Sometimes there's skin eruptions and rashes that occur. Sometimes uh, they uh, have mood swings that are worse than the problem that the medication is trying to solve. And in worst case scenario, um, kids experience suicidal thoughts and, and that's horrifying for parents to listen to. We also don't know fully the long-term effects of these medications over the years. So because parents are becoming more aware and, uh, and concerned about this, we offer New Brain as an option. Uh, neurofeedback is actually, if you break down the word, neuro means neurons in the brain or brain cells, and feedback is actually the information that you get back from some sort of method. So. What the person does is as they're watching, as, as their signals are being read, it's actually funneled through a computer. The computer actually has a, a screen in which it feeds back information to the individual so that they know where their brain signals are and what they need to do to change those brainwave signals. Everyone gives off brain signals related to their own behaviors. For example, if a person is depressed, then their brainwave signals are released in such a way that they form a groove or a loop in the brain that's very hard to, to pull yourself out of. But that process then leads to the behaviors and the thoughts and the feelings that are associated with it. Well, with New Brain, what we're doing is we're reading those signals and we're teaching the brain to respond differently so that they don't feel those same behaviors, emotions, and feelings. And you can do that by having a feedback loop occur so that the person can see what they need to do in their brain to actually change those former negative signals. Now, the technical part is the fun part for me. Um, when the person comes in for neurofeedback, a cap is placed on their head and in the cap are the 19 sensors that we talked about. That cap is slipped on the head and it is connected to an amplifier because the signals in our brains have to go through the scalp to be read and so the amplifier actually lifts the signals so the computer can read it. The computer then reads the signals from the amplifier and then it places it into an algorithm which then is read on a screen with a video game attached to it. The video game is responding to how the brainwave signals are working. So if a person is sitting there, they're actually literally playing a video game with their brainwaves. Now, the brainwaves that, that we are working on are those specific networks that are problematic. So, for example, we'll look at, say, the anxiety network or the memory network. Uh, let's go with that example. The memory network is a specific network whereby 
if it's trained properly, you can actually strengthen the synapses in the brain to make the memory work better. So we use a very specific algorithm to identify where that memory network is. And then the person plays a video game and they're rewarded in that video game every time they strengthen their memory. So this can happen three, four, five hundred times in a setting so that by the time they practice enough strengthening their memory centers, they actually improve their brain functions. It's really exciting. Most, most neurofeedback options out there use two and four sensors on the scalp to actually read the brainwave signals. Two and four sensors are just only identifying a small portion of the brain. Our program uses 19 sensors at once and uses it on the entire brain. That way we can identify the entire network. And networks often run the entire length of the brain from the front of the brain to the back of the brain or from side to side, up and down. So these sensors, when, they're, when you have 19 sensors, it's like a larger net cast on the areas that need to be trained. So now we can really do a better job training the brain. It makes a tremendous difference. I mean, what, what we're doing is we're identifying where the signals are in the brain that you know, correspond with the network that's dysregulated or dysfunctional. But not only that, those 19 channels actually help in, in terms of really uh, getting to the deeper part of the brain. So, so many people will have issues that occur in parts of the brain that can't be reached by surface training using, using like two or four channels. What we do is we triangulate signals that are deep in the brain and we can actually help places like the cerebellum or the limbic system and areas like that that most other neurofeedback can't reach and we have better results that way. And that way when we do it, you know, when we use the 19 sensors, we're able to actually get to the heart of the matter and people have faster treatments as a result. Um, and ultimately, it's, it's cost effective to do it that way. We know that parents today are busy and it's so difficult for them to take children here and there. There's extracurricular activities, there's situations that involve kids uh, you know, needing to get tutored and, and uh, sometimes you know, there, there's year-round sports. I mean, there's so many things that actually pull parents in so many different directions. They're in the car like it seems like 60% of their day. And the thing that I, that I want to do with neurofeedback here at New Brain is to provide a faster treatment, a better treatment, so that less time is needed for recovery and people get the help they need. You know, a good analogy would be like, let's say, you know, you're, we're talking about, you know, muscle training, okay? And a person wants to go to like a weight room and a lot of people are doing it this time of year since it's 2020 and it's like it's time to get in shape but let's say you go to the gym and you're not prepared you don't have uh, an, an idea of what your problems are your weaknesses you're not really you know clear on how to do the exercises um, that person who goes into the gym isn't really going to get the results that they're looking for now compare that to 19 channel neurofeedback where you are now going into a gym, you have a personal trainer, you, you have the best equipment, um, you know exactly what your weaknesses are and what your strengths are, and you prepare yourself fully for a complete workout with good guidance along the way. That's what we're talking about with 19 channel neurofeedback at New Brain. You get the full package as opposed to getting something that is you know, maybe working on one arm or something or one leg. Um, it, it isn't enough to cover the whole person. Research behind this particular treatment was conducted by the National Institute of Health originally and they used, uh, they were involved in a project called the, the Brain Initiative. Now the Brain Initiative had the job of actually mapping the entire brain and it did it by collecting research from all sorts of channels such as getting you know MRIs and fMRIs and spec scans and EEGs all of this data was gathered into one area so that experts neurologists psychologists 
neuroscientists were all gathered to be able to identify the brain and map the brain in such a specific way that we now have treatment options that are pretty fantastic. This particular program is based out of that entire research project that was conducted over the last 20 years. We don't provide medication here. Uh, we do not have a psychiatrist uh, working with us. Uh, a lot of great psychiatrists out there, but we don't have one working with us. We want to use a natural approach to help more families. And so, uh, but we, we do, I do want to make the point that uh, we're not, um, we don't turn away people who are on medication. Neurofeedback of this type is so specific that we can help the brain even when people are on medication. We often help people wean off medication and get better. Now, neurofeedback is the primary treatment that we do with New Brain, but New Brain also has other treatments as well. We have treatment that helps to support the blood flow in the body. We have treatments that also support the heart rate. And so what we attempt to do is to help the whole body, the whole person. So let's say, for example, a person has uh, pretty bad anxiety. Think about a situation where a child gives his first public speaking uh, speech and she's all worried the night before. She's concerned about how she's going to look in front of everybody. Um, she loses sleep over the issue. Um, she wakes up the next morning nervous and shaky. Um, her stomach feels terrible. Um, she's sweating. She has like rapid heart rate. You know, all of the symptoms of anxiety for this whole thing. Notice. But it's not just the brain we're talking about. Now the physical body is now responding to the symptoms. That's what we do at New Brain. We help the whole person. We help with counseling. We help with um, blood flow, uh, help with metabolic support. And we also, we have a natural path on staff. Uh, we do a lot of different things to help the entire person, not just the brain alone. You can get a hold of us at either of our two websites. Uh, the first website is www.newbrain.training and the other website, and, and th that website actually talks a little, a little bit more about neurofeedback and the technologies involved with that. But the other website is uh, drbobmontez.com and that one has more of a of, uh, explanation as to what's going on in our office. We do counseling, we do educational psychology and educational uh, testing, uh, we do psychological testing, so there's a lot of other things that we do with that branch. Um, you can reach us also uh, by phone. You can call us at 678-366-8862. Uh, that's our office number. I'll say it again, 678-366-8862. And then you can also uh, ask for a free 15-minute consultation if you have questions that maybe go a little deeper. But I'm excited to uh, bring this product to us here in Alpharetta and their surrounding uh, area uh, of Atlanta, Roswell, uh, coming. Uh, just it's it's available to families and, and to children, especially to to get the help they need.